All right. So there's a couple things that we have here that you guys really need to make sure we um, understand. The first one, Adara, is noticing our constraint. All right. This is the constraint. The reason why your constraint is so important is because that's going to tell you where your triangle is at. All right. And I'll give you guys two examples. So first of all, let's look at where tangent is um, positive. Now remember, tangent represents the y over the x coordinate, right? Um, when we're looking at a point on the unit circle. So tangent is going to be positive in the first quadrant and the second quadrant, right? Because here, if y and x are positive, obviously the tangent is positive. Here, if they're both negative, that makes them positive, right? But here, they would be both be negative. Now, if I'm going to graph sine of 1 fourth, Remember, sine of 1 fourth is your opposite over your hypotenuse, right? Now, this is a positive 1 fourth. So therefore, I could do something like this, 1 over 4. But that's not the only triangle I could do. What? Yes, third. Yeah, it's third. You're right. Thank you. Um, this could be 1 over 4. But also, you could do 1 over here. Is that correct? Adar, could you? Um, that's like savvy up here, actually. That's OK. I know. But I want you not to be asking math questions right now. Um, <laughs> except if it's course to me, I would go through. So but you have 1 over 4 and 1 over 4. Do you guys understand? Yeah. But the constraint tells us it has to either be in the first or the third quadrant. Therefore, this triangle is not going to work. So. We delete the triangle. Okay. Now it asks us to find the cosine of theta. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the only way we can find cosine of theta is we need to figure out what that is. So now we can use Pythagorean theorem. So x squared plus 1 squared equals 4 squared. x squared plus 1 equals 16 minus 1 minus 1. x squared equals 15. Square root, square root. x equals, now, since that's to the right, it's going to be positive the square root of 15. Right? It's always plus or minus. And you guys can see positive square root of 15, and this would have been negative square root of 15. Right? You see how it's plus and minus? However, we're only looking for our constraint only tells us it has to be in the first quadrant. Therefore, it's going to be a positive square root of 15. So therefore, this is square root of 15. The cosine of theta is adjacent over hypotenuse. So therefore, that is my adjacent over my hypotenuse. And there you go.